Right, welcome to the first episode of The Vanilla Vine with Mr. Matthew Blythe. So this is my first podcast that I've ever done, and hopefully more to come. Um, so, get started. Who are you? Where'd you come from? What's your name? Uh, my name is Matthew Blythe. Um, I come from round the corner, uh, Warrington. Um, and I am an ex rugby league player. I'm now a bodyguard, mate. So, my first question is, what was it like growing up playing rugby? I know we've both got the same dad, so yeah. I want to hear some stories. <laughs> so, where, what club did you start off at? Right, so I went, I was at Rylands mm-hmm. uh, till I was 15. Yeah. And then we won the league that year. But for some for some reason we folded. <laughs> like everyone just left. I was like, well, we won the league. Why is everyone leaving? Um, so we folded. Then I went to I trained at Latchford, but because it was a massive mm. rivalry between Rylands and Latchford, which was our the main players that were there, um, in the town, um, Dad would let me go. <laughs> so uh, I branched out to Lee Miners for me last year. And then you went on and got signed. Wait, how long, what age did you start playing for Warrington? So yeah, so we had we had town team which was mega. And you had it like once a year where you were playing your, your local districts of so Wigan, St. Allen, mm. Widnes, um I think we had Cumbria in there as well, actually. Uh, and that was once a year or twice a year possibly I think it was, which was really, really good. Um and then we signed profession well, signed yeah, signed professionally at sixteen. And then obviously went through the academy, um, <clears throat> which was obviously 16s, 18s, 21s, which was basically your, your, your B team, which was mm-hmm. unbelievable growing up. Um, as because you would have people that obviously are not playing in the games and not being picked, they wouldn't go off to their local um, championship team. You'd actually, it would actually be, you'd be playing against established Super League players. And that was massive. Um, especially when you were, when I was 18, 17, 18, growing up and playing against men. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then people coming back from injury. So we were playing, you know, I think there was a Wigan team, you know, we were playing against, I think it was a Thursday night. The most one I remember was a Thursday night. We were playing against like Sam Tompkins, who was my age anyway. Yeah. Um, Chris Ashton, who is now rugby union. Yeah. All well, both Tompkins brothers. Um, Joel, sorry, Joel and Sam. Um, there was a lot, Eamon O'Carroll, there was, um, Mickey, Mickey, um, McClure. yeah, so he was like one of the probably the best hooker yeah. in the in, in the in our, it's our amateur level. Um, it was just amazing for for you know, so instead of playing locally, then you got the opportunity to play against Super League player, players, and that's so all mm-hmm. went from there. And then obviously got more established at Warrington, got a bit more, <clears throat> a bit more game time, and then obviously I was there for seven, eight years, yeah. and I went to Bradford nice. for four years. Well, I've already answered my answer, which was, which was Academy. Academy. Um, um, and my next, and next was, was <clears throat> when growing up and going through the Academy, obviously, academy, obviously you've, got you've got Lee Brace, Brace you've got, got, well, obviously, well, obviously but, you've got, but you had, you had Nat Ward, Ward Toa Koei Love. Love. Who, who, from that from team, that or team who, just, just in just world, world rugby, rugby, did you... Did you Look up to and idolise. It was a lot when we were when I was just. So I'm 32 now, so we're talking what 15 years ago, mm. 16 years, 17 years ago. Um, well, no, when I was like 17, 18. Yeah. Sorry, there was a lot of ma- like fundamentally big players. You don't really get that much anymore. Well, you do, but you don't at the same time. So we had like Kieran Cunningham, Paul Schofield. Yeah. Um, you know, you people you were playing at Sean Long. I'm gonna name Saints players because they always used to do us in the in the last minute. Yeah. Anyway, so fuck them. Um, and then in, in, in obviously the Warrington team, which you grow up with, you had like Libres, Benny Westwood, Tolo Colour, yeah. Louis Anderson, you know, Logan Swan, players yeah. like that. Um, and then when we started being more established and being a bit more serious about the league, because we were branded at that time as like the pub team of the yeah. of Super League. Yeah, <laughs> you know, Alfred Langer, still pub town, yeah, so. you know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alfred Langer, you know, you'd be, yeah. you'd, you'd, yeah. you'd be growing up with absolutely yeah. legends, mate. And um, You've got, um, so then when we started, we had people like Martin Gleeson. So he mm. was our, I think he was our first ever big signer. Yeah. Uh, and he was a centre, which was my, 
one of my positions, yeah. and he was absolutely amazing, absolutely un- unbelievable. Our centers, I think, it, it, throughout throughout the our career, uh, well, throughout Warrington, the centers that we've had have been unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely yeah, unbelievable. Matt King, um, <laughs> Bridger, Chris Bridge is got exactly. is one of the. He's probably the best ball hander I've ever and ever played very, with. Very, very, very underrated. I think so. He was it. He was I've, I've never saw someone kick conversions nah. of taking half a step back. No, no, he's mad. He's, I've line, never honestly over. met a person like it. His his footwork is out of this world, and he just he just the science behind him. So he, he would be terrible at agility drills. <laughs> can't touch his toes, but <laughs> you put him into a game situation, he's gone. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So it, and then. <clears throat> We've had um, you know, we had a lot, a lot of world class players to learn. Yeah. Which one, one thing stuck in my mind from Chris Bridge when me and Dad went to <laughs> watch you at Huddersfield away. Yeah, and um, it was probably about twenty meters out. Took a scoop, stepped, and he was he was away. Yeah, and he was away, and then all you see was this big fucker come behind Earl Crabtree and chasing him oh, from eight I, meters away. Mate, I remember and just that. Absolutely <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Out. I was I was astounded and just a. Yeah, the language that came out of dad's mouth. Mate, I remember oh, that because we, we did it in video, mate, and he got fucking ripped for <laughs> it, mate. But it was like fucking Crabtree Motors, mate. He <laughs> does <laughs> motor. I've seen him do it a few. I remember back in when we used to watch him. Three and his legs are fine. I know. That. Well, I remember watching, um, we used to do a lot of video, obviously, a lot of planning preparation through all that. And I've seen him do it a couple of times. Mm. Crabtree was a machine. When, yeah. he, when he was at Pete, mate, he yeah. was fucking really good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, our, the players that we've had like Lee Braves, mate, is unbelievable, yeah. absolutely unbelievable player. Yeah. Um, Benny Westwood, least on athletic rugby player. Oh, I've ever seen ridiculous! Like. It was ridiculous. <laughs> but again, the, the, he's one of probably, well, Warrington's best player ever. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah, anyway. yeah. There's there's a no, lot of no doubt. Yeah, I think that obviously is is rugby, is rugby brain is second to none. Yeah. Um, you know when I first trained with him and that um, because you, you don't you you see people for eighty minutes. And when you want to obviously start training, you know he's not the best trainer in the world, yeah. and, he, and he and he would honestly tell you that. <laughs> um, I, but uh, on a field, you know, he, yeah, he's there. He's a hundred percent there. And didn't like to defend, but great he, interceptions, great absolutely. interceptions, I mean, and that's why he did that because he didn't like yeah. to defend it. <laughs> just you know staying, I mean? cent- just staying centre, defending centre, and then just shoot out the line. Yeah, but he was, he was, time. you know, even even this day, like. No, we're watching a bit of the game now. We're in Catalan, yeah. like these coops there who, who I've grew up with, yeah. who's, who's having an absolute it amazing season. St. George, season. absolutely smashed, smashed it. it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's you know he's doing. The, the team's doing well. They, they really are. Yeah, they I really think are. scoring eight tries in the NRL at number ten. Oh, number eight, right. unbelievable! Look at this kid. Ridiculous. Absolutely unreal. But yeah, it's uh, yeah. So we grew. I've grew up with some amazing players that have a hundred percent had a massive influence on mm. my career massively and not even on the pitch off the pitch as well yeah. massively and how to conduct yourself as a person how to be professional um when when is the right time to go out when is the you know the, not the right time to go out yeah. looking after yourself yeah. um and then even like the coaches that i've had tony smith you know cullen yeah. um jimmy lowe's you yeah. know the, I, the, 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 these coaches there that are you know who taught me a lot of things mate definitely yeah who did you? I don't even know who you made your debut against. Mine, well, mine was. I think it was the last game of the season. I was seventeen or eighteen, I think it was, and it was against Salford away mm. at the Willows. Is it the Willows? Used to Where be. they used to be, yeah. Uh, and I come on for three minutes. <laughs> I didn't touch the ball. Didn't make a tackle. <laughs> <laughs> didn't touch uh, the ball. It was injury time, mate. So that's how fucking late it was. <laughs> but I was like, fuck me. I made my debut, but yeah. I think it was the year after. I obviously had a really, really, really good uh, pre-season, and um, I think it, yeah, it was. It was Catalans away where made oh, me where, where oh, me first in, ever. Oh, where, where? oh, oh, go on then, score it. Oh, get yeah, get it in. Good lad. What a try, Blake Austin made that then. I didn't see Broke it. Straight through. I didn't see it. Who did you score your trying. speaking of try time? Who did you score your first try against? Cass away. Cass away. Unbelievable, mate. I it wasn't. Were... I was second row, so I was a very, very tiny second you row. Were... I still can't believe you got put in second row. But it was. I was. I'm a strong. I'm athletic. You know, I've always been strong and athletic. So for for me, you know, I'm I'm pretty tall, but you wouldn't say I was a uh, second row. You're not. No. No. But uh, yeah, it was Castaway on Sky, which was nice. Well, 
Yeah. Lovely stuff. Very nice. Right, yeah. we were definitely. And that was probably, I think that was my last try as well. Yeah, we, we were probably. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember scoring much more after that, to be honest. I'll never forget you scored an hat trick at um, oh, shit, yeah. Mag- Magic Weekend, Witness 2012. Witness as well, man. Was oh, it 12? Sure it was 12. It's got to be on it, yeah. Because yeah, we had the. Um, was it in Manchester City, wasn't it? Yeah, because you got me in. I mean, oh shit! Yeah, you went VIP, had, didn't you? yeah, but we went in the wrong. We had the um, <laughs> we had tickets for a box that was on the other side of the stadium, yeah. and we'd gone to the opposite side. Right, and they just went, "Oh, just go up there." So that's where all the players' wives and that got. It, it, no, we were the only people in there. We got a free Sunday lunch, free. I'm sure we got free drinks, and um, we realised that this was the box that all the celebrities and the owners sit in on game day, <laughs> and we got it for free. Mad, yeah, that was that was a yeah, my first and last. Well, no, I scored an hat trick for Lee when I was on Jewel Reg, and then Warrington that was on Sky as well, which mm. was nice. So that yeah. was my first and last hat trick. Yeah. yeah, but that was a good, that was a good, that was probably one of the best games ever. Yeah, you're more proud of the um flick out the back. You did to, oh, mate, to, to Joel Monahan. Mate. About that. Who doesn't get mad at Matt? Right, yeah. this, this is right. <laughs> so I score an hat trick, one assist. And Joel Monahan scores five tries. Joel Monahan <laughs> scores five tries. One of them was in the last second as well, mate. Fuck. I thought two minutes before Ed went, right, let's let's look at this logically. Joe annoyed me. You could have got four because you was you was there, you I was know, over the line and you still popped it up. Fuck. I know, I know, but that's it, I thought. Logically, four tries. It's fair enough, he scored four at the time. Yeah. Thought I've scored my first actually, had a little assist, had a good little game meter wise or whatever so we're playing really well but I fucking definitely got one of match here no mate <laughs> fucking Joel Joel snatches it off mate <laughs> last last oh. minute mate it was unreal it was funny though it was a uh, that was a good game yeah that was probably one of my best seasons for Warrington yeah yeah it you got, you you it that, you? yeah oh, it was just um it was it was mine and Tony Smith's uh, um idea yeah um I was a player that you could I could play really, really well, mm. but you've still got Matt King, Chris Bridge, Ryan exactly. Atkins. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was it was better yeah. for me to go and branch out to not even a not a lesser Super League. They weren't well at the time. I remember this. Well, I remember when your first season at Bradford and we went and the team was it was like star studded at fullback. You had um oh you had Brett Kearney. Brett Kearney at fullback. You had um oh, Mana Kafour at prop. One of the biggest units I've saw. You had Jamie Langley. Jay, but even like the people you look at now, so we had Gayler. Yeah. So we had Gayler, Bateman. Yeah. And Whitehead. Yeah, you got, yeah, so Luke, you had, you've got yeah. superstars. I think really, Luke Gayle came into his. Yeah, he was really, really old, good. He was Bradford. amazing. Amazing at Bradford. And then you could see that Whitehead and Bateman were going to be absolute superstars. Yeah. Unfortunately, they were going to leave at some point anyway, 100%. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, obviously, the we went into administration mm. that year or the year after. Might have been the year after, yeah, it was the year after, because we just missed playoffs mm. um, that year, which was uh, unfortunate. Um, but yeah, we just we had an amazing team. Yeah. Absolutely, Jared Samet was killing it that year yeah. as well. Absolutely unbelievable. He was. He was. Um, and then we had like yeah. young players like Alex Mellor now. Yeah. Um, Adam O'Brien smashing yeah. it. Now. Yeah, Adam O'Brien at so- uh, um, Uddersfield. Oh, he smashed it. He's, he's absolutely doing really well. And Alex Mellor's got a, a massive chance as well mm. with, with at Leeds, and he's doing yeah. fucking amazing. Yeah. yeah. But uh, when Samet made, made, must have run most of the pitch, done all the hard work, and tried to do one, of, like, tried to do one of those, um, like, yeah, yeah when, he, when you jump up and put your arms out, oh, and drop the ball. That was Cass at home, that was on Sky. I remember going, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just, hell. Went, just put it down. But he is like that as a character anyway. Yeah. Well, he's he had a fucking tash out here, didn't he? So yeah, he's mad, mate. He's good, good lad, good lad. I remember you've told me this story a few times, and it's like it's fitting with Warrington playing, and the rumours have been coming over early, mm. and it's uh, Greg Inglis. Yeah. And was it two thousand and what year did you train with with Souths? I think it was the first year we went to Australia for pre. Was it thir- No, because you went Bradford in thirteen, didn't you? Was it twelve? Was it twelve? It might have been twelve, actually. Yeah, it was quite a while ago. Um, and I remember you saying, "You well, you didn't even remember until about it was only about like three, four months ago when we was on about it when English yeah. signed." Yeah. It was. yeah, yeah, it was. I still have nightmares about it. 
Do you want to say what what happened? So we went to obviously we went to South and that it was an amazing opportunity. Yeah, yeah Matt King was a big reason, wasn't he? Because he went yeah, he went it, back. Yeah. yeah, he was kind of a. a was he yeah, player coach? Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, we played him. Is it? Oh, is it I'm going to say Redford, but I could not honestly yeah. be wrong now. It's where they train basically. Mm-hmm. We were playing a few of their. Um, we had a training game there, so we did three weeks out there, um, and at the end of it, I think it was the day before we left, we had a game. Um, and again, I had a really good preseason. Yeah. Um, it was really, really fit, really strong. And again, we were training with South South Sydney, so the forwards were going to train with the forwards, the backs yeah. were playing the backs. So we start off wrestling with the backs and that, and he's fucking he's star studio. Been so, in mind, Greg, Engl- Greg Inglis is six foot five, oh, mate. 19 stone. He's had six foot five. Yeah. Mate. <laughs> but uh yeah so i've i've gone wrestling with him so i thought fucking hell this is like the best thing in the world unbelievable as a as a person who's grown up watching nrl watching this guy tear defenses apart let's see if so you, there's, you, if you type in greg on youtube all you get is compilations bigot compilations try compilations hatch it's, it's oh just, mate it's ridiculous and unbelievable so, uh, yeah, so I've got him, so I'm literally starstruck, this, that, and the other, but I thought, fuck it, I'm going to give it this cunt. <laughs> I'm going to give him everything, <laughs> absolutely everything. And uh, I did, and I fucking smashed him, mate. <laughs> absolutely took him all over the place, wrestling. Billy Big Bollocks after that. I was fucking well proud of that. Riding eye. I was like, how is he the best, one of the best players in the world, mate? I just dominated him. <laughs> and then the coach is giving him a bollock and saying, come on, mate, fucking at least try. So I was like... Fucking, I'm trying my hardest here, mate. And he's not trying, and apparently he's not trying. The next wrestling, mate, he literally gripped me and cradled me <laughs> to the floor. I fucking never felt so emasculated. It, it, oh, mate, it was bad. I felt like a little kid. Like crying. I felt like crying, mate, honestly. It was like, okay, fair enough, mate, yeah. Literally, just honestly, mate, cradled me. Not even like slam me or anything, like, thought, oh, I'll have you. Literally, gripped me that hard. I couldn't move and cradled me to the floor. <laughs> I was like, well, what the f-? I'm, gu- I'm guessing you uh, swap partners after that. Oh, I- yeah, straight away. G- give it to um, give it to Willie here. Yeah, yeah I thought, <laughs> not a chance. But that was a- that was an amazing experience. Yeah. Something that I'll, you know, I'm not well. Yeah. I don't think a lot of um people can say they've been twatted by Greg Inglis. Yeah, exactly. Hundred percent. I've been to Australia and that, and done preseason. There, yeah, that is- which was amazing. When you said you was going south, so I remember that. Man, it was unreal. What? It was unreal. I remember. Yeah, they had Sam. They had Bur- all the Burgesses. Yeah. They had all four at that time. They had Luke as well, didn't they? It was a good laugh as well. Like, it was good. It was three weeks with anybody, though, is tough. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> it was it was tough. But again, it was a massive experience, mate. Different mm-hmm. way of life over there. You know, even like uh, when we had Moz and that. Um, Moz couldn't walk down the beach, mate, without getting fucking gang raped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? You know what I mean? He couldn't, uh, he yeah, couldn't he's, walk he's, anywhere. He's, like a, he's a superstar. He, but that, he it's, is, their, it's their he, national sport, basically. Well, yeah, you've got a, um, Aussie rules and then that, in it, That and cricket. He couldn't walk down the street, mate, yeah. without getting noticed. He wasn't there. He's not been there for four years. Yeah. Pre- well, three years before, I think. Um, you can't miss him, can you? I remember when I was on Academy with Warrington and we went. We got the chance to go and watch... Um, it was when... Was it the World Cup? It was here. All the Four Nations... I feel like it might have been the Four Nations, and um, we got to watch New Zealand train and um, Australia train, and we were watching um, f- the Australia team at the time was Jonathan Thurston, yeah. Cooper Cronk, six and seven, probably arguably the two best, the best six and seven partnership yeah, yeah. ever for Australia. Yeah. We had Sam Thayday. You had Cameron Smith, who when I well, yeah, I was a, I was an hooker, and being a watching Cameron Smith, it was like, what what is going on? Yeah. Um, we had I think I remember. Do you ever remember those? Um, whenever it was when Blackberries were a thing, yeah, we were like, I was a bit bit too young, so I was like, I was like eleven, and um, we had a, I had a, the Nokia one that looked exactly it had the keyboard on the front. Oh, yeah. yeah, we had that, and um. Jonathan Thurston signed the back of my phone and the back fell off my phone. I lost the back of the phone. Fuming. Fuming. I was I was livid because what Jonathan Thurston. Freaks, mate. Amazing. 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 Freaks of the sport. But when when New Zealand came, we watched New Zealand, it was like different animals because you got Australia, all um, 
indigenous. Yeah. And then you've got the Islanders, the Maoris, and they were like, just they're just all right. You're we're just not the same species. Look at that. Oh my god. Go on. Oh, I wish I could have done that as a centre. <laughs> Would have been nice, that. Would have been nice. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with him next next season with Kelly. I don't know, mate. I've not really took any uh, notice of it, to be honest, yeah. Uh, I see, um, not, I don't have a clue, mate. I don't have a clue. I don't really, um, I obviously speak to a lot of the lads still. Live with, I, still I still speak yeah. to, obviously, a lot of the lads. Yeah. Um, but I don't really ask them, to be honest. No. No. It's not really, it's nothing to do with me. Like, no. this is stuff that happens. I just think, I, I private, think like, even if stuff like that happens, like, because I don't even know. I don't, I don't think he was more than two seasons with Warrington Gellin. No, probably not. Anyway, probably not. But, but now the signed English. I was on oh, yeah, this with um yeah. with my mates last weekend, and we were saying, it was like, where's he going? Yeah. Because there's rumours of Widdop going back. Mm. Quite big. Like I don't know if they've been cancelled now, but I read rumours of Widdop going back. Yeah. Could Ratchford get six? Could English get one? Could Matty Ashton get one? Mate. English get three. I think three. the best thing with uh, with Warrington that we've had through the years is that there is we do have a lot of utility players. Yeah. Um, and that's a really, really good trait to have. And um, I think something like Stett, who's world class at it. He's, um, I don't think I've ever saw him have a bad game. No, ever. he doesn't. He doesn't. He's very, very consistent. Um, on and off the field, he's, he's an amazing bloke. Um, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, he's, he's, he's you know, could be potentially Man of Steel this year, mate, for me. Yeah. Uh, these are well, lot. It's different now, isn't it? They go off yeah, uh, Man no, of Steel points. points. It doesn't go that. off like a jury. But, um, which I'm yeah, really he's, a, he's, he's, he's a very, very good player. Very good player. Even like Das Car, I was just saying like Das mate, it's ridiculous. He bought me a, he, he just came over, he was in a club in town, in um, Block One. <laughs> and, of course, uh, of course. And he just, I was just, Stood there, and just I, forget, I think I was waiting for you. I don't know, it was probably you somewhere. And um, I was waiting there, and he comes, he just comes like, I see his figure appear out of the smoke. I'm like, who's this? Yeah. Just, like making a beeline towards me. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Clark comes over, he <laughs> he was steaming. Yeah. He was just, he was well, so, it, yeah. he was so drunk. And uh, he just went, he went, I know you from somewhere. I went, oh, do you? That's another try. And he, went, he went, yeah. He went, who are you? <laughs> I went, I'm Brad, who are you? <laughs> and he went, do you know what? I went, of course, fucking know who you are. <laughs> yeah. And um, he, he went, oh, you're Blarby's brother. And I was like, I was like, yeah. Makes sense. And he went, here's a vodka, lad. Give me a vodka, man. I don't even fucking yeah, drink vodka. Well, you had to man. drink. you got to drink it. you got to drink it. You can't take a can't take a drink off the best stucker in the world and not drink it, can no, you? No, will you, mate? i seen him come back from pre-season and stuff, obviously, when I, I mean, last year it was mm. And he come back after like we've been in, obviously been smashed for about he come back from um, I think it was England, don't know if it was in Australia that one I'm not too sure I can't remember, um, but he come back you know a little bit overweight but obviously been on a two two week holiday, <laughs> all missing. inclusive, all inclusive you know he's, yeah he, yeah got back mate he's he literally left he, he was back where he left off mate it was it was <laughs> ridiculous absolutely freakish, absolutely freakish but he's a yeah he's a good lad as well yeah burn you for pace as well. Who wouldn't? <laughs> I've got proper chocolate hamstrings, mate. Once I've done oh. both hamstrings, oh. that was it. I, I actually know about 10 minutes before it's going to fucking snap now. So 10 minutes before, I was like, nah, I oh. know what this feels like. Oh, Jesus. It's not this tight. It's not tight. It's going to snap, I promise you. The amount of times I've had to fucking sit on the sideline because of hamstring injuries. Oh, ridiculous. yeah, that, that clip I said when I sent it you, sorry, on. I think it's, I don't know, uh, I can't remember what the page called. Might be called Sky Rugby on Instagram or something. Mm. And it was just a clip. It was a clip where yeah, Daz. When Daz I'm gonna say yeah, it. it was a clip yeah. of Daz Clark at um, where he was number fourteen at Cassis Cell. It was yeah, must yeah, have been yeah, 2012. Yeah. It's got to be. I and, uh, no, no, because yeah, it might have been actually 12, 13, possibly. He got. You sure he got the nine at Castleford? He was fourteen at this mm. point. And uh, he, uh, all he did was fucking okay, just did that quick, oh, quick, quick, quick rock, quick, quick, rock. quick scoot from the rock. Uh, <laughs> and all he sees you just attempt. Yeah, like you but, just attempt and you just you, you just go nah but that I tore my hamstring the first half I was out for 10 weeks after that <laughs> I literally got up to play the ball heard a massive pop I went oh 
<laughs> or it was, uh, who was the coach? Uh, Franny. So it was Franny Cummins at the time. Mm. And it's happened twice in my career. It's where I've torn my hamstring <laughs> and I've had to play the full 80 minutes. <laughs> it happened. Uh, so it happened then. I went, mate, I've torn my hamstring. I was like, what do you mean you've torn your hamstring? He said, right. Listen, <laughs> listen. Listen. <laughs> listen to what I'm saying. My hamstring, I've torn it. I was like, okay, let me just, let me go and speak to the boss. <laughs> You're gonna have to stay on. Yeah. Oh. There's no debate. Give Your hamstring is gone. Look at it, it's black. Yeah. Give it to give it to our time. Yeah. Right, so our time, you strap it up, this that, the other. And I don't get how, I don't get how you can strap up an hamstring, don't worry. You just open it. it, you just get it as tight as yeah. possible so you don't fucking move, basically. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, on both occasions, it's ended up being fucking eight to ten week fucking hamstring tie. Which is annoying, but it happens. So. Well yeah, well there's just players that are just injury prone well to be honest or, I wasn't just... in, in the early parts of my career I wasn't injured at all the worst I had was a couple of dislocated fi- um, dislocated fingers and my sternum it was a small little fracture of my sternum and that was it that was but muscular that hurt, didn't it? yeah that was a bad yeah. <laughs> it's worse right it's worse when you're in bed and you obviously at the day well the night after the, well yeah it was a was it no no it was a Sunday kick off against Catalan fucking Catalan popping up and it was um, literally tackled but the boot like been stamped into my chest. Oh, so um, who was it? Do you remember? I can't remember. Won't remember. It was, was, a prop. It? It, a big be, it was a prop. So we then went home, and then um, I don't know if it was an ex girlfriend who did it. I can't remember. He was literally show, trying to show me something on the phone. Oh, I, I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> and she dropped it straight oh. on his sternum. I don't oh. know if it was that because I remember going mad at her, but I don't know. That might just have been in general anyway. So. That phone would have been flushed down the toilet. <laughs> so straight, yeah, straight down. The honestly, toilet. I nearly cried. But it was in bits. But even then, it wasn't too bad. I had a few ankle strains and then just fucking all of a sudden hamstrings started going and then, you know, it was a bit annoying, but shit happens, mate. It's rugby league, isn't it? So. Yeah, exactly. All right, I remember we was watching, uh, who was it? Who pop- Someone popped the finger back in. Um, in it. I remember Westerman did his knee. Oh, yeah, that was last. Oh, that was class. That went viral. That I know. No, so it should. I know. Well, I, think, I think it, was, it might have been last weekend, one of the games last weekend. Um, someone popped the finger out. A char- it might have even been Charlie. Probably. It was a, it, yeah. Um, I can't. And I think his finger popped out, and he popped it back in. Mm. I remember watching United when do you remember Raphael the right Raphael, back. Raphael, you've seen it. Yeah, one. And, the, and someone went to throw in the ball for a throw, in and it hit his <laughs> finger and just popped out. He was like, ah, and he goes, ah, my finger. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he fucking screaming to come off and the physio just pops it back in and he goes oh oh it's all right man. that's amazing yeah i remember doing that once in magaloth <laughs> <laughs> i think it was like 18 at the time and um it was a few of us and we were, this is our first day so bear in yeah. mind you're looking around the pool you, you know how long people have been there for yeah by the, so, just by the burn just by the being sun. burned and just being yeah. lucky how rough yeah. you look <laughs> Fuck, I bet you were 10 at the beginning of this all, didn't you? You were fucking two and a half. You came max. here 18 and left collecting your pension. Oh, horrible. And um, we were playing fucking water rugby. We were in, we were in 18, yeah. playing kids and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I did that when I went nine off. And then, and then literally it was uh, Ben Miller. Um, mm, yeah. It was uh, him. I've tackled him and then I've dislocated my finger. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's gone, oh. <laughs> and I'm obviously a bit fucking cooked. Yeah. And then put it back in myself, and then we nice. like literally nice. sick. Great, but I don't. I didn't remember the next day because it wasn't completely in. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, but it was dead stiff. So yeah. it took it took me about took me another day to get back. Yeah, in. I, I just remember my worst injury was when I was uh, wait. I've um no, it was yeah somewhere in you know that lump on me at there. Mm. I um it was doing a uh, four corners diff- like tackling drill. Yeah. So it was um. Well, it was so you had uh, A B C D mm. on four corners, and then you had um, like one guy running the ball in from like out in the middle of the square, but like into the square. Yeah. And coach call D A, and then you go in and do a two two on one tackle. Yeah. And um, one of the big lads on service here was running the was running the ball in. He was around the ball and, mm. and he's called two wingers to come and tackle him. He couldn't tackle him. Mm. So he's what and went if they can't go down, the rule was but one of the cones runs in. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. bearing in mind this lad's probably about six foot, maybe taller when we're twelve. And I've um <laughs> I've I've run in. Yeah. The it, lad on the opposite corner to me is running. And as we've both sprinted in yeah. full pelt, yeah. 
guy's gone down. Me and him have just fucking clocked each other in the head, knocked each other wow. straight out, both bounced backwards. Nothing worse. I remember just going, oh, yeah, I remember woke, woke up, didn't have a clue what happened. I remember holding my head going, oh, yeah, what the cool. fuck was that? Shit, Oh, just kept holding my head and then I lifted my hand off my head and every single lad went, what the fuck is that on your head? I was going, what? What? I was like, that feeling for blood on my head? There was nothing Big, there. And head. then I just go like this across my forehead, just run my fingers forward, and it was like a fucking egg. Yeah, it was a full egg. And her training was only an hour and a half, so my mum's gone into a Asda nearby mm-hmm. to do shopping. And her coach has rang her. Um, Wes. Wes. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's rang my mum uh, and saying, you need to come over, you might need to go to hospital. So obviously, you know, yeah. I was like, sprinted over, left the shopping in Asda. Of course you did. Um, she probably did that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she's uh, uh she's um legged it over and then there's just this massive just fist on stuck to my forehead and um i remember being on the phone to um my mum was rang what the emergency doctor straight away when we got home proper worrying and, um i go you go can you can you speak to can you can you speak to brad please and, uh my mum put me on the phone and um speaking to this doctor she went got an idea come no she went you all right I said yeah I said oh Oh well, you, your mum thought you might have um, like smashed your skull. I went, I went it's, well, I'm all right so far unless I'm dreaming. Mm. And um, after that, um, they, they said, right, if it go, if it didn't sing, you need to come straight into hospital and you'll have to get it sorted mm. out. I was like, right, fair enough. And then on, that was on the Thursday, so I'm obviously missed school on the Friday. Yeah. So I had banging at it the next day. So I went back in on the Monday, and over the weekend, this lump had moved from my forehead into the bridge of my nose <laughs> and um, I look like um, what's he called James McAvoy at the line which in the wardrobe where he plays yes. a goat and he's got that fucking big, big goat mass- head. massive nose <laughs> goat head. Oh, I'll, never, I'll never forget that I've still got the one now have you got game this time yeah. yeah. to be fair oh did you well, we won the, we, um, so it's six we're in the semis right? of the Challenge Cup now aren't we smashing it that's a great game against St. Helens oh hey, there's one Challenge Cup win, 2009. 2009, yeah. Wow. Amazing. I remember being there. It was amazing. It was, obviously, I didn't play. Yeah. Uh, I think I was injured. I don't know, but I was still young as well. Well, we had centres were... Um, Ridiculous. Who was yeah. centre? We had... Well, it was King. Yeah. It was King. Did it bring... Did it bridge? Yeah, it was. I'll tell you who it was. Oh, we was had... Was injured? Can't no, it might... Was it... Was it Atkins? Might have been Atkins, yeah. I feel like it might have been Atkins, because we had... We had Chris Hicks was injured first year. I'm sure Chris... I just remember uh, absolutely sure trolling in the yeah. box. I was absolutely <laughs> blabbed, mate. I remember, I'll never forget the... Um, <clears throat> set, was it 20, 2010, wasn't it, where Chris Hicks scored the hat-trick? Yeah. Was it the only... I think it was, it was the only hat-trick scored in the sh- Challenge Cup yeah, final? And then Matt Hafen, who scored one a few years ago, mm. didn't he? But... Um, that was... Um, oh, mate. I can... I've been on rugby sessions when we've been beat... Yeah, so I can't imagine what. Wait, I going... think in 2009, I remember Tony Smith actually. You taught me a good lesson there. Mm. Is I was obviously annoyed I wasn't playing, but again I was still young. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't well established. I yeah. wasn't. I'm still coming to me own as a player. Mm. Um, and we had better players. Simple as. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, mate, I remember just being a part of the team. Yeah. Which was, you know, which is what he. Well, I think that's what got us through that year. People that wasn't playing that got us through it. And how we had the probably the best weeks of training that I've ever been yeah. involved with. We didn't yeah. drop a ball all week. Yeah, well, yeah, no, I was just saying, I was watching, um, it was only a couple of weeks ago, I was watching um, something on YouTube with Braze and Westwood, mm. and they were on about the Challenge yeah. Cup final, it's and just, he said, yeah. the day before we did a team run, and it was the best, yeah, the best team, team run. run. You've, uh, the 2009's ever team run. Was the best I've ever been involved in. We yeah. knew we were going to win. We yeah. knew it from yeah. Then. yeah. It wasn't even the fact we were being. Um, it's just like you just knew it, and we were just calm about it as mm. well. Because obviously it was the first final we've been in for God knows how long. Mm-hmm. You thought we got a bit of stage fright, but nah. From minute one to eight, uh, the plan went perfect. Yeah, and it was it was a team effort, and it was obviously the team on the field. They were doing the um, they were everything did well. Obviously, yeah, well, won not that um didn't uh, Vinny Anderson play scrum half? Uh, was that second? I, think oh, was that I second can't year? remember. I can't remember. I know I he played. played. I know he played scrum half. But we had yeah, because we had a lot of injuries. Yeah. We had a lot of injuries. Because um, Mona, you had Monaghan, 
M- Mickey. Yeah. So you had Monaghan started at nine, I want to say. Probably. And then Mickey came on. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I think Vinny played at yeah, we had, at seven um, with we had a few injuries. Yeah, we definitely had a few injures mm. that year. Yeah, because Tara McCarthy got, got yeah, brought that's in, didn't it? Because it was between me, Ty, and Mitch. And, Mitch yeah. and we were ba- basically fighting for that um, mm. um, spot. I think we had Wigan. And I probably had one of the worst games I've ever yeah. played in my life. So you got dropped on your head by a... Um, no, no, that was... A, that was um, oh, that was later, that Lukaku. one. Lukaku. Not Lukaku. Not- <laughs> 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 uh, what is it? Uh, Lamarca. Uh, yeah. Lamarca. <laughs> you played with him? I know, yeah. He's going to fuck me out. Oh, um, Jesus. Yeah, he went mad at me when he went to Bradford for that. He, oh. said, he said he he accused me of flipping. <laughs> Are you fucking mad? <laughs> he <laughs> killed me. <laughs> Yeah, you scored in that game, didn't you? score first try, I think. First try, yeah. because yeah, I was there. I don't score many, mate, so I do no. actually remember the name of yeah. every try as well. <laughs> there's only now, there's only six. <laughs> all two of them. <laughs> oh. Um, but fuck me, yeah. Yeah, he, he went mad at me for that, actually. Mm. I remember he'd come over, and he was a big signer for Bradford at the time. Yeah. Um, obviously, fucking smashed it, a hole smashed yeah. it, Wigan. Come to us and then just, you know come over and just uh, say that basically I, co- I cost him 300 quid <laughs> you can fuck off mate you only cost me me it's a straight red I know <laughs> you're lucky you, yeah, you are lucky you got a yellow card exactly mate. so fuck, you co- I cost him 300 quid away, but you nearly cost me my fucking yeah. spine <laughs> <laughs> speaking um, of spine there's one injury that was bad for you which one? Oh, mate yeah but to be fair it was, it, was it your spine to start off with? No, well, it, I, I have got a, but I've still got a bulging disc, so I still can't feel yeah. some right right side of my calf. Mm, and shit well, like there's that. nothing to really but feel, to, is there? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Which makes a lot of fucking sense. But yeah, that was just... you got calves like a flamingo. Oh, <laughs> I know, that's what uh, I'm right, yeah. Pelican calves. Little weasel calves. Yeah. But um, yeah, that was a bad one, mate. But it was just more, because I was getting work done on it and get it trying to get it fixed without surgery. Then it went completely fucking wrong, and so I ended up with that one percent of person that gets an infection through um, so, well through uh, burning the disc. Yeah, spinal fucking, infection. A, spinal. Sp- yeah. Spinal. <laughs> in a in and out of fucking consciousness on the couch. Oh uh, yeah, visiting you on Christmas Day, and you was just like I was possessed. You was just out of it. You was on so much morphine. Oh mate, it was best like- days of my life. <laughs> I say it was shit, yeah. but I had so much drugs. You see, you've seen stars for a week. <laughs> so much tramadol, so much fucking liquid morphine, Orimorph. Mate, Chris, New Year's Eve was a fucking blast. I had 12 cans of Fosters, about half a litre of Orimorph. 12, ca- <laughs> 12 cans of Fosters and a few uh, morphine and tonics. Yeah, no, no, it's like, fucking, sat there like having a syringe in my fucking in my martini glass. Get in. Oh. Going nowhere. But nah, I mean, it was a yeah, it was a bad one, but it was yeah. a good year. That I enjoyed that year. For... You met Robin Van Persie. I did. You met Robin Van Persie. I did, I did, I I've did. been to the poshest hospital. Fucking hell, a concierge. Know. You had a concierge on door. You spat at him, Warrington. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell you go home. Go home. <laughs> What's that? Your phone? Yeah, yeah, just just sew it back together. It's cold water, cold water, and cold yeah, water and no. uh, paper towel. Nah, I'll start it. Look. I think they they, they they do have a bad name Warrington Hospital, but they fuck. We went the other day and said Granddad's not been well. Yeah. And um, they, they, they are fucking amazing. I, I've got my hats off to the mm, NHS. Mate. Yeah. Especially after this year, after this shit year, mate. Oh, great, yeah. Do you saw a meme and it was um, January, February, quarantine, December. <laughs> <laughs> May's oh, well, mate. Enough. May is fucking well. All I'm, all's I'm hoping for is that this is not even, well, it won't be done, but that it's just calm by my 21st next year. <coughs> oh my god because yeah. that will be we'll be alright with that mm, a very 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 we'll just get Tom DeLips in backyard heavy weekend <laughs> we'll get the 6.15 yeah. back yeah DJ. we'll get him on top of Gary so everyone can see him 100% because we'll all be social distancing of course <laughs> of course we've got to stick by the rules mate, yeah 100% and um, I, I, I don't live here, but who cares? <laughs> find me. <laughs> find me and find me. Find me and find me. Because no one's fucking finding you. Oh, mate. Are we getting beat? Oh, no, they just scored. Come on, lads. We'll switch off. Second half. Come yeah. On, come on, come That's on. what. <laughs> Biggest bender. Oh, mate. That you can remember. That fucking you can... hell. Yeah. We know you've lost... A dozen iPhones. A dozen? I could have bought a house. (laughs) (laughs) 
I'm not joking, mate. Yeah, there is at least you, one the amount of phones you've lost is I a deposit lost. for a decent house. 100%. You've got, you've got to be detached in Lynn there waiting for your rolling <laughs> phones. I know. Fucking hell. Mate, bad. I'm bad with keys, phones, anything, mate. I remember you, I got a text from... from this year's gone well. I got a text from uh, Gandhi, which is Matt's mate. Um, when you was in Benidorm. Um, <laughs> oh, that went day so, one. <laughs> So this was day one. So his phone's gone on day one, which right, fair, fair enough. Phones phones get lost. Yeah. Money went. But how the fuck did you lose your flip flops? No, it wasn't just I lost <laughs> my flip flop first day. No, so it was. But you walked home. I know I did. That's <laughs> but really leather feet. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Yeah. Well, wait, what it was the first one. So I landed back in country uh, after working away, and then. Um, it was England semi final. I went to Poston Gate for the first day. Oh, yeah, I was at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So remember. Mm, yeah. And then me and Gandhi were yeah, going to Benidorm um, the next day. So I lost the card yeah. beforehand. So yeah. my card was gone. Yeah. Um, so she's like, right, fair enough. I'll just fucking transfer it to Gandhi, this, that, and the other. Mm. Just whatever. You know, Apple Pay, whatever. So then we were in Tiki Beach. Um, and then obviously got speaking to everybody, this, that, and the other. Yeah. So you, leave your, you leave your stuff around. Yeah. As you do when you've had a few beers. So the bum bag went full of cash <laughs> with me phone yeah. in it. And then my flip flops suddenly this just that, just so they just pissed me off a little bit more. Took me flip flops. Hey, we did these flip flops. Yeah. Yeah, we did them. So that was it. So obviously, um no phone, which I wasn't really fussed about anyway. Yeah. It's just a, it's just uh but that was twice that year. So I went to Benidorm <laughs> I went to Benidorm <laughs> twice. And lost. Uh, it's your own two. fault for going Benidorm twice in a year, anyway. To be honest, yeah, I've never been before, but it's fuck me, it's good. It's so good. <sighs> it's maybe rough though. It is rough, but <laughs> it's fucking. It's it's a good rough. Yeah. It's a funny rough. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like mm. it is like Blackpool, but with some. But yeah. it is. It's a good laugh. Yeah. A Spanish hate them, mate. Oh yeah. Because well, everyone hates us. Fair one. I don't know a country that likes us. Yeah. So the, what did you say? The were best worst bender. But, well, it can technically be classed as best and worst. Best and worst. But, well, mate, I've had a lot, we've had a lot of Mad Mondays, mate. Yeah. Mad Mondays yeah, when we, so when we few, won yeah. Challenge Cup. So when we won Challenge Cup 2009-10, I think was it 11? Uh, yeah. Um, three, years, three years, I can't remember. No, it was... Uh, oh, I think it then, was two, then we lost, and yeah, then we won that's it, 2012. Yeah, yeah. So we had, uh, so obviously, the first one. Yeah. We went to 2009... Um, we went to Tenerife for a few days. Mm. Fuck. I've had, <laughs> I've honestly, the, the videos that I've seen, so I've obviously passed out, mm. bladdered. I've got Chris X. Like, he said to me, he said, right, Blythe, I said, I don't want to, I said, there's videos out there of me slapping you with a flip flop. <laughs> <laughs> but he said, Blythe, I said, I'm not going to be funny. I was running up and hitting you as hard as I could around the face, and you didn't punch. <laughs> I've seen these videos and said, mate, next day I felt it, mate. Oh. You know what you feel? You're in <laughs> Red Raw. Oh, fuck it now. That's what your head as well. Mate, I was in bits. And then, uh, mate, it's, the videos were real. It was so funny. I was like, <laughs> how have I not woke up? <laughs> uh, we've had, obviously, I've had Magaluf with the Bradford lot. They, that was amazing. But that was one of them was after, um, did we go twice? I feel like once with Bradford. Yeah, the, yeah so we went to I had my blonde tash at the time. Yeah, yeah. there's one where you're getting um, Twice pressed did. by um, a bodyguard. Yeah, by yeah. Noah Dorman, yeah, who's pressing you. Benji. Benji. He's a legend, mate. Great. He's, great been, I bet like, he's still no. there. Mate, he was there when I was 17. <laughs> he was out, he's still a mega. And um, so we went to there, that was that was amazing. So we, the fancy dress as well, the fancy dress we used to do was unbelievable. Yeah, we, so dre- we dressed as, um, we went Iron Apple. We had we um, took um, Power Rangers morph suits. Yeah, I bet you were hot. It would, oh, honest. Yeah, so we was in a, we was in Iron Apple. Nice that before that time. Yeah, uh, and we it was my mate's 18th, so it was like right, we've got to do something. Here. We need to do something funny, so we all bought a different colour um, Power Rangers morph suit. I was red, obviously. Got to be, you got to be red, don't you? When it Power Rangers. I don't Rangers. know, I don't know, mate. Yeah, you got to be. We had. I think when they put the black one as the black. Oh fuck! Yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit racist, that. It's, it's a bit. But I'll take it. Touch and go. Touch and go. I'll take it. Um, I'll take it. The, we uh, we got the white one, the special Power Ranger for me, mate. Um, special. Yeah, it's it's like the uh, it appears every, limited edition one. We got him that. Right. And he was uh, 
he he had that, and you could, I mean, you could see everything, oh, everything. Amazing. Yeah, you had yeah, we had apples and oranges for half time, just walking walking about Iron Apple Strip, and I swear to God, every two seconds, getting stopped. Can we get a fault? Can we get a fault? Can we get a fault? Every single time, and we was like, right, it's getting annoying now. Unzipping the head at the back, pointing back on, zipping it up. Oh my God! Woke up the next morning. I went, we got so many photos last night. And my mates are going, yeah, we did. So we go on, I go on the um, Jolie Explore on Oh, yeah, you can go on, on Instagram. Um, Instagram. Yeah, so we'll just put Iron Apple just on, just on the location. Yeah. I swear to God, it was us just down Instagram. That's what you want, mate. It, we were f- That's what Fast Chess is about. It was everywhere. Just people with us just powering. And it was like, that is sick. That is so good. We were just, it was, it was, it was class. It was class. I actually like fancy you know. Yeah. But it was trying to use your phone and old glasses. We were just slipping out your hands. You got gloves on all the time. Ended up just pulling it down and getting your tits out. But we got um, one of our mates. He's a uh, six seven. Uh, and we bought him the, <laughs> bought him the pink Power Rangers one. It came with a skirt attached to it. Of course it did. <laughs> I wore one of them. Um... Those uh, second skin, is it skin suit things? A Batman one. Uh, well, the morph suit things. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the morph suit. Yeah, morph suit. Yeah, I wore one of fucking um, Bradford's man when we went to Blackpool. Diskin had a night, Diskin was captain at the time, so we organised it. Um, and we, we he asked us for 30 quid for this uh, hotel room. Yeah. No. It was fucking horrendous. <laughs> Yeah. So he's had his off. Like, is this the one where they told you to use your own drinks at the bar? Yeah, no, basically yeah. just yeah. like going, yeah, go and help yourself, lads. We were like, wow. Uh, just put the money in the till. <laughs> That's what she was saying. I was like, till passwords this. Yeah. Here's the keys. Key was a- lock up, lock up when you go out. Key was bigger than the door, mate. <laughs> and then, oh, that was it. So I've come back, obviously passed out again, which was one of my party tricks. Yeah. And uh, disc in, disco's put uh, me hand in uh, in Walmart. Oh, he's done it. So I woke up, pissed myself, obviously, <laughs> but it's gone, obviously, because it's a fucking tight suit, oh. it's gone up to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gone, to, <laughs> it's gone up to me neck, mate. I was like, who the fuck's done this? <laughs> no one admitted it until the end of it, because we went to, did we go to, we went to Leeds in the second. Oh, that is great. Hey, it was fucking strong. That is great. Pissed all, so oh, unless you didn't go down. Pro- proper lager piss as well. Hey, oh, oh you yeah, nothing worse than else. waking up. And smelling your piss in the morning after a proper oh, day sesh or no, like like afternoon to AM sesh. No, I'm not about that. And you've and you've put that all over yourself. Terrible. That is minging. Yeah, man, it's not good. It's not good at all. Well, it's twelve all at half time. I'll take that. I'll take that. And a Chinese is getting ordered. Shit, we need to order that. We do need to order that. So that has been the first episode of The Vanilla Vine and I imagine there will probably be an episode two with Bradford Orford and Warrington's finest um, and um, Al-Assad's finest. Al-Assad's finest, yes. mate. Iraq's we'll talk about that in the next episode. Um, so if you've watched, thanks for watching or listening because I think the camera cut out about an hour ago. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think the SD card's full. So... Um, Yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Gracias and see you later.